uh, Councillor Basson. Uh, she would have loved to have been here. She was a sponsor, and unfortunately, she can't be here this morning. And then we're waiting on a couple of other people. So um, we'll get started with Veronica. Good morning, everyone, everyone, and thank you uh, so much for being here this morning. Um, I am Veronica Rael Garcia, and this is my son, Isaac, and our family um, lost our precious Lily on October 20th, 2015. She had just finished her second day of pre-K and was four years old at the time when she was tragically taken from us by a violent repeat offender in a road rage incident on I-40. <clears throat> it's important to understand that when you ever choose violence, your life can change in a split second, and what you knew before is no longer. Our goal here with this campaign is to not only keep Lily's memory alive, but also to bring a full awareness of the effects of road rage and the devastation that it leaves, the, the devastation it brings to the families that are left behind. Too many families have lost their lives or lost loved ones and now are trying to navigate a new world. We have to remember there's no guidebook on how to live on without your loved one. Road rage is completely avoidable and it should never happen. All it takes is for each, and each one of us to be kind and to have patience and to just breathe when you're behind the road. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to ask the Sheriff Allen to come up quickly. Um, we're, uh, we actually were approached by Veronica, and as you all know, this campaign may be very familiar to all of you. Uh, she started it uh, years ago when um, she lost her daughter, and then she actually reached out to us, Sheriff, and, and um, she reached out to us and asked us if we can organize this. And I just want to say um, I appreciate um, the Sheriff um, partnering, but I also want to appreciate because this takes a village. You don't just do this and, you know, you find the money to um, launch a campaign like that, like this, without all, lots of other folks. So it takes a village. So everyone here who has contributed, I'm just going to say real quick, the mayor's office, everybody jumped on right away right away so unfortunately he couldn't be here but we have Ms. Martinez who will speak and then we have APD um, Chief Medina, uh, Councillor Lewis, Councillor Basson, Councillor Jones, Councillor Grout, Councillor Sanchez, Councillor Feeblecorn, uh, the County Manager, the Sheriff's Department, Commissioner Quesada and obviously uh, APD Deputy Chief Brown who is here with us today um, obviously part of the APD but I want to thank everyone everyone who contributed to this very important campaign in light of what's going on in our community we really need to make a um, make awareness and education about uh, road rage about um, speeding uh, lots of things that attributed to the loss of life and tragedy for families all the way around um, I also want to thank Sunny 505, Gabe, Jerry, and Joni for putting together all the marketing uh, materials. And then I want to uh, thank uh, Council Services, uh, Rachel Hernandez, and Julian Moya for helping to get all this organized. So like I said, it takes a village, and um, we're just really happy that everybody came together to get this important message across. So, uh, Sheriff Allen. Uh, thank you. Um, we're all here together, like the councilwoman said, uh, it takes a village. Thank you for everybody who's joining in this awareness. And uh, most importantly, not to forget victims' families. Uh, that's very important as victims uh, around this state and around the country begin to lose their voice. We never want that. And we want to make sure that there's awareness. And one of the reasons that the sheriff's office uh, is behind it is because we're going to make sure that we enforce it. Road rage should be the last resort or if that any crime against people, property, or any violent crime. A lot of people don't realize the hurt that you cause, just not to the family, but the whole community. We're, we're asking for you to relax. We're asking you for, to breathe. We're asking you to think, to look at an alternative before resorting to violence. 
If you do not, we will enforce it and we will come arrest you. That's just the bottom line. But again, this is an awareness. Starting tomorrow, the sheriff's office will have a white ribbon on their antennas or any part of their units to show awareness, uh, just not for Lily, but all the victims' families that have lost their life to road rage or any violent crime. And also to reiterate that we will not accept or uh, deal with violent repeat offenders. But we will go after them. That's our dedication with the Sheriff's Office and law enforcement as a whole, and we're very glad to be a part of this. Thank you very much. And I know uh, both the Sheriff and APD are planning a tax plan also to enforce um, to enforce um, speeding and aggressive behavior. So um, next we have Veronica Martinez with the Mayor's Office. Hello, my name is Veronica Martinez and I am um, the new Chief of Staff for Mayor Keller's office. Um, I want to thank Councillor Pena and the Garcia family for re-establishing the, ca the campaign Just Breathe. As a mother and a member of this community, this hits home. In the past year, APD has had approximately 460 calls uh, for service and approximately about 156 of those calls were reported uh, where a road, road rage incident was tied to those. Um, we have to be a little bit uh, better. We need to step back. We need to breathe. Uh, confrontational and aggressive driving endangers the lives of all the, on the roadway. This includes drivers, passengers, pedestrians, and cyclists. It is important that the community is united and considerate of one another on the roadways. This campaign will stress the education and conflict resolution needed to avoid road rage, road rage incidents. I encourage, I encourage everyone to take a pledge to be patient, considerate, and understanding when operating a vehicle. The violence on the roadways comes with the consequences from actions that could have been avoided. Although road rage, in, road rage incidents may not always be deadly, these types of incidents can take a toll on the community and individuals on the roadways causing traffic congestion and traffic uh, crashes. A few tips on how to handle rising incidents. Stay calm. Just breathe. Don't return or engage on any gestures. Avoid eye contact. Do not taunt the other person. Disengage by rerouting, changing lanes, slow down, and report all incidences to police. The Albuquerque Police Department has been and will continue to arrest individuals who are violent and endangering others on the roadways of Albuquerque. You'll hear more later from APD Chief, Deputy Chief Brown, who will explain further operations on what they're working on to address this uh, road, rage in, road rage incidents. Thank you. Thank you, Veronica. Next, we have uh, a representative from the Bernalillo County Manager's Office. I don't think they're here. So then we will go on to uh, Commissioner Stephen Michael Quesada. Good morning. Um, thank you for uh, letting us be a part of this. Um, you know, just my drive on the way over here, um, I took time to look at, you know, how many different types of diverse drivers are on the road and how many different age groups of people that are on the road. And I understand that sometimes, you know, people are having a bad day or they're dealing with a family matter. And so I think the just breathe uh, statement means a lot when you have to look at what other people are going through. And if something happens on the road, you have to avoid it. You have to just in your mind breathe a little bit and thinking maybe they're having worse day than I am today. And what happens is when you engage with that, and I think that was well stated earlier, when you engage in somebody else having a bad day, bad things happen. And so this campaign about take a moment, think about the other person, think about what you, know, you would do in a situation and just breathe. I think it says it all right then and there. Um, and I wanna end with what I think, what a gun is. Um, a gun is for self-protection. A gun is not to make your point. A gun is not to push your agenda. And a gun is not 
for you to uh, commit uh, aggression towards somebody else. It's just for self-protection. You only use it when you are in danger of a life-threatening situation. I think we need to look at that as well. We need to talk about not only what our responsibility is as drivers and our empathy as drivers, but also our responsibility as a gun owner. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Direct Deputy Chief Josh Brown. Thank you, ma'am. You know, I'm going to hit on a point that Commissioner Casada touched on with, uh, you know, the guns and road rage. The Albuquerque Police Department has investigated six homicides this year due to road rage. And this is where, you know, we, we ask people to be responsible. We ask them to use common sense. So I'm the father of a 16-year-old brand new driver. And, you know, I, as everyone, as, as you drive around Albuquerque and you honk at somebody or whatever, and one day she asked me, Dad, when you honked at that person, is that going to affect the rest of your day? I was like, no. She goes, then, then what, what, is that, what point does that make to get angry or to even get irritated at this and let it, let it affect you for the rest of, rest of your afternoon? And, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, my 16-year-old daughter made more of a point than most adults can. So I'm asking people to grow up, to, to, to realize that their consequences have actions. I mean, APD has, has focused this year heavily on traffic enforcement. Uh, we're almost double what we had last year in, in tickets alone for the Albuquerque Police Department. We had about 64,000 traffic citations. Our motor guys are at where they were last year for all of last year. They're already past that. Um, through their aggressive driving campaigns, they've hit drag racing, um, you name it. If it's out there, they're, they're writing tickets for it. You know, we're also doing things like, like citing spectators. If somebody's out watching drag racing, um, things like that, they're going to get a ticket. If you're out there pointing guns at people, we're going to take you to jail. So we're going to have operations throughout the rest of the year. Uh, we're going to rotate those in and out with the warrant backlog, with our central operations, um, anti-crime operations, and our, and our aggressive driving. But I'd also like to remind folks that uh, there is a, a link that they can forward portals to, or photographs to. Um, it's, it's through the Axon portal through KRQE on their website, or they can go to the Albuquerque uh, website. Um, and through this, it's the Albuquerque um, pdnm.evidence.com backslash axon citizen. It's on the website. So please give that information out. If you have that information, if you've been involved in a road rage or you have information on somebody who's endangering the lives of others, get that to us. We'll investigate. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I am heartbroken that we have to even be talking about this. Um, our parents taught us well. They taught us to think before we act. They taught us, if you can't say anything, don't say anything at all. They taught us to be kind. They told us to walk away when somebody was being, when you felt like you were being picked on. These are all common sense things, but our world is so upside down right now that common sense isn't commonplace these days. It makes me angry that we have to have this campaign, but I think it's very necessary. So this is our reminder to everyone on behalf of all the Bernalillo County mothers, be kind, slow down, just breathe, think before you act, and let's all get home safely. I'd also like to um, give a big hug to all those moms and dads and grandparents and sisters and brothers that have lost loved ones senselessly. It's all, avoid, it's all avoidable, just like you mentioned, and um, we've got to do better. So I'm, I'm really proud to be part of this campaign, and I hope that folks will really stop and think before they act and make sure that we're being kind to each other and just breathing. Um, Councilor Pena, do you want me to Let's see, who is our next one? We have a closing closing remarks. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, we're just gonna show the video. 
Oh, and you want to yeah. just talk about that and, and then we'll just, you can wrap it up. <laughs> so, so um, Councilwoman Krista Pena and her team were able to get us um, in touch with Sunny 505 who have done amazing um, advertisement for us. Um, and so we were able to do a um, commercial. Um, it's super quick, um, it gets to the point. Um, it does include, of course, my Lily, but it also includes two other individuals that um, have lost their um, loved ones to road rage. It'll be just a minute, folks, sorry. <laughs> able to get yard signs where we'll be able to give out today um, if if anybody else needs to pick some up they will be at the city councilor's office on the ninth fo floor I believe and then also at the Bernal Leo but it doesn't have to just breathe and remember we are all trying to get home safely choose kindness and patience on the road together we can and will So that should be um, starting pretty soon um, on the local channel stations. Again, we have yard signs here. If you folks want to um, pick some up, again, you can pick some up at um, the Albuquerque City Councilor's Office on the ninth floor, um, and then also at the Sheriff's Department on the ninth floor, I believe. Um, we also have bumper stickers to be given um, here if you guys want, would like some. Um, I just want to thank um, Clarissa Pena and Sheriff John Allen from the bottom of my heart um, for their willingness to do this campaign again. Um, I mean, it's been eight years since we were here at this exact spot doing a vigil for Lily. Um, eight years has been a long time without her. Um, eight, eight years has been a long time fighting for change. Um, and again, I just want to thank um, Clarissa, wherever she went, there she is. <laughs> Um, Sheriff John Allen, thank you again. Um, thank you for um, APD um, 